Ah, smell that fresh air. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. You found it! I've been looking for that blade for months! You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you, in honor of his memory. Fair coin for a poor old beggar? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. You have no idea what... Look, I don't think I should say. I mean, they could kill me. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. I overheard Boley say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. You've been kind. I thank you. Welcome to Riften, Traveler. Yes, I'm afraid we're aware of Sarthus's presence in the warehouse. Unfortunately, we're certain he has informants within the city guard. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. However, if you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. 
I see you still have the right. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. Just an act to please me. Perhaps. Good journey to you. Perhaps no, not. Come to gloat, have we? I'm to poke fun at the Jarl's you youngest son. You had it all. You had it all, and your mouth cost you everything. At least I've chosen a side instead of acting like a spectator. One day, you'll be forced to make a choice. And I hope it's the right one, brother. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. Th what did you want? Of course Luma. not. You expect Vana's me to take care of it by myself? Yesterday. My niece Vana helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. This heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Hailga's bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. The bunkhouse is for the working man, so not some sort of luxury inn for Don't tourists. Worry about it, Svana. It's my problem. What no does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get Look, blood from a stone. Sort of no, no, Look, tired. I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Trees. They're beautiful here. Reminds me of autumn at home. Ask all you want. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not in this part of the world, anyway. Ask all you want. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not in this part of the world, anyway. A fall forest makes me miss my childhood. Playing among the towering trees in Valenwood, living with my brethren. Hey, hands off! Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Not Lady Debella. No. Please, I can't lose her. Can't you bother me at my armor stand in the morning? Or are you this. that desperate to train it? Come back when you're ready. Oh, I love a challenge. Do your work. Someone did so hard. Yeah. I'll rip your heart out. Let's get going. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Make it quick. Hey! No! <laughs> What happened? I'll carve you into pieces! Call yourself a My money's on the big one. What happened? That's your best, huh? Ugh. Enough. This ends now. Look, I got the message. What else did you want? Leave me in peace. Speak. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness.
Are we going? Fine. What? Can't you bother me at my... You dirty thief! Crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Is that fur coming out of your ears? Stay out of trouble, Orc. It's so good. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. What do you want? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lechance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much. Here for a room or something to drink? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. 
Now what did you want? I already paid you. Sibby Blackbriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. If your allegiance lies... My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough oh, no. about himself. You're the one from Brynjolf South. Catchy, isn't it? In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping up on you. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Seemed only fitting to name it after her. Well... Changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Coming to this city was a big mistake. <laughs> the question is, what isn't wrong with Riften? This city's corrupt. Rotten to the core. No one cares about anything except themselves. And how much coin they can make off the misery of others. Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. I hope you're here for friendlier reasons now. After all, I'm all paid up. Authorities? A few been listening to what I said? They're all dirty. Every one of them. The only way to get things done in this city is to keep your head down and pay off the right people. I hope Brynjolf chokes on his gold. I hope you're here for friendlier reasons. Staying safe, I hope. You want to talk? Finish those jobs for Brynjolf first. Can't hide from me! Over here! in your blood!
hard. I'm beginning to think leaving Mournhold was a mistake. Oh! Divine smile on you, friend. He's dead. What is it, Orc? Wonder what it's like for those Thalmor, now that they've been taken down a notch. I don't know. 
Trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Let me show you the operation, then you can ask your questions. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. They call me Wait Sapphire because I love You're not to steal talking them. about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. 
Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Hey, I'm not done talking to you yet. Come back here. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. So you made it out. Good for you. Don't expect me to thank you. I still remember what you did to me.